Hey guys, it's June 8th, so that's a uh, bottle depot right there. And so, <laughs> only got four bucks for two bot bottles, two bags, but that's still not bad because, like I said, I still have three dollars on my uh, bank account. And they got four dollars in pop bottles, and then I have a dollar. Altogether, I have like eight, sixty, almost nine dollars, so not too bad. So it was worth the trip. Um, like I was saying, it's not really about the money; it's more about getting rid of them, so they don't pile up, and it can only take two at a time. So it did get me out of the house, and now I'm waiting for the freezer bus, so I can go up to the library. Um, I should have at least a half hour um, once the bus comes here at the library so that I could transfer all my files to my hard drive and then yeah so it's not too bad well, I didn't realize there was music here <laughs> don't really want music in the background so yeah, and I'm just waiting for the bus, and uh, then I'm going to go to Dollar Tree, and then the product store, see if there's anything cheap. I'm just going to get powdered juice for now on, instead of getting pop. Um, it's easier to carry. <laughs> and uh, going out all day like this is really hard for me, so somebody suggested... I should save my money and go on a train, but I can't even get out of my place too long on my own, so <laughs> to travel is out of the question. It's not safe in this day and age. It costs a lot of money to travel. You need at least $1,000. I don't have that kind of money. I'd never ever have that kind of money because I'm on disability. And yeah, paying off debt. Even staying at home, I'm still, I still don't have a lot of money, so, it, uh, traveling is definitely out of the question, and like I said, I wanted to travel to Victoria, and then just thinking about, um, the cost of money for that, and going to Victoria in six hours just gives me anxiety, so, for me, changing my dreams around, is better. Like I said, it's not safe even if I travel with someone. I'm still going to fall asleep. Uh, I'll just be hanging out at somebody's place and I'm not going to travel just for that. So yeah, no, traveling is out of the question when you have conditions. And I don't just have conditions, I have conditions and disabilities. So. Yeah, um, it's, I, I could only go close to home, or I could go downtown, metro town, and that's about it. Other than that, I can't even go to the west anymore. It's just too far. So, so yeah, unfortunately, when you got conditions, you can't travel. Um, even if you travel with someone, there's no point, because you're going to be asleep the whole time, and they could try to wake you up and just walking like walking one block to see the washroom I just go on the bus <laughs> because my legs are so swollen right now because of the heat so yeah unfortunately uh, you just can't um, travel with conditions I know some of my friends do but they travel with somebody, so that's different, and they can do stuff, but for me, I can't. I'm like almost 44 years old, so just looking after myself is a full-time job in my place. So even with the Vitality pills, they help, but not 100%. I still get tired, but they do help me quite a lot, so. But yeah, 
just sadly in this world, it's way too expensive to travel <laughs> or go anywhere. Like, people go to concerts and stuff for like $400 a ticket. I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> I could never afford that. But then I also know what it's like not having money. And so I try to save every small little thing. And even that, it's still hard. Like I said, I'm trying to save for a cat. And even that's uh, going to be a long process. I have to give it to my family so I don't spend it. Because <laughs> just everything is so expensive. And even though I cut down, yeah, I smoke. And I spend about 200 bucks on smokes per month. But like I said, I don't travel. I don't go out. I don't do anything. So I'd rather smoke than travel. And... Not enjoy travel. So yeah, just waiting for the bus. And there's my bus, but I'll grab the other one. But I still have time. I just let the smoke. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like right here is a pub and they're doing music. <laughs> but if I stand over on the other side, uh, places have their doors open, so like I said, I'm a considerate smoker. I don't smoke around people. Doors or windows or people. Because um, I know what it's like. So, yeah. Just thankfully, like I said, if I were to travel, it just gives me anxiety having to save, having to look into all the info about traveling, having to travel. Yeah, it's just out of the question for me. I've traveled a lot already, like to Victoria quite a few times, and I don't even want to go to Victoria because that's six hours. <laughs> it's like people don't, sometimes people don't realize how long it takes to travel and then to get there, and you're exhausted, and it's like hotels are so expensive now. But. I'm only going out today because, like I said, I had to return the pop bottles because I couldn't yesterday. I didn't get a chance to go to the library yesterday, so I went to the library now. And then, like I said, everything's pretty much close to home. It's maybe an hour away. Not even an hour away. Uh, my bus is an hour away because <laughs> the buses are slow. So, yeah. But I'm happy with my life the way that it is, and it's freaking hot out. So I like being at home because it's so nice and cool, I could actually wear a sweater at home. <laughs> when I'm out, I gotta wear a stinking tank top. So yeah, but I'll be doing live at 11 o'clock to say thank you. But yeah, just remember I got conditions, and I got disabilities, and it's more than one thing. I don't drive. So, disability after I pay rent, I only have 700 bucks the whole month, which is really nothing in this day and age, especially in Vancouver, everything is expensive. So, that's why I'm happy I'm saving to get a cat. <laughs> like I said, I, don't, I, I usually don't go anywhere, it's just because... I'm working on the video, so I have to use the CD ROM at the library. That's why I'm going out. And then I'll probably go out again next week to do the other discs. But I prefer being at home. Traveling too, there's so many people around, so much noise, I just can't deal with it. Like, even 
this right now is too much for me. I'm like, going, I want to go home, but I gotta go to Fraser, so. <laughs> but then tomorrow, I'm, I'm not going out. I'm just gonna go to the park with family's kids close by for like an hour, just get fresh air, and hang out with them. But, yeah, I can't can't handle the noise anymore. Maybe it's because I'm old. <laughs> but my life's not over yet, like I said. Uh, your conditions, when you have conditions, you change your lifestyle. And make it so you don't get anxiety. And so you don't have to worry about money and traveling counting on people. That's the other thing too. I'm on my own, so... Yeah. Traveling. To try to get somebody to travel with me too, then I'd have to like, make time set aside and go with them. And it's just not as fun as it used to be. <laughs> not with conditions. But, I like being at home. So, I'll probably upload this when I get to the library, and hopefully the bus will be here soon. So, yeah, uh, live, 11 o'clock. Pacific time. I hate the sun, too. I feel in the shade, and it's still, yeah. So, anyways, I'll see you guys at 11 o'clock p.m. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. But like I said, for me, traveling is not safe. It costs too much money and I'd rather be at home. <laughs> so I'm doing what I love. It's really fun to story.